Hello folks, welcome back. So I'm just uh, carrying on with removing this addition from this old mobile home here. And so this is my pile of garbage. Um, I'm just collecting it here so that when I bring my dumpster in, I'll be ready to load that dumpster. So this is coming apart pretty good here. This old sun porch is all gone. And uh, just take you up the bank here and show you what it looks like from the top. So, just as we suspected, you know, everything was pretty rotten in there. And uh, you can see from that pile of lumber there, it's just you know, a lot of black mold and whatnot there. And so, I just want to show you the construction of this before I completely dismantle it. So, you know, there you can see the 2x6 ceiling joists. And those were strapped with the 1x4. And again, that was the way that they tried to get some ventilation in there, which, uh, you know, really didn't work. And uh, so they applied the uh, OSB across the uh, 1x4s. You can see it there. And so, you know, when you take this stuff apart, it's just kind of like a reverse of building it. So, you know, I got all the siding and everything stripped off. Uh, the last video I showed you, I was taking that off. And you can see where... Uh, you know, I left that that metal siding down there, which goes down into the dirt. But uh, I'm just knocking this off from the bottom, the the one, the uh, OSB. I'm uh, just using a two x four to smack it and loosen it, and uh, you know, push it off. And uh, so I'm going to be salvaging a lot of those two x sixes in there. Those two x sixes in there are pretty good, you know, compared to the ones that were out over the uh, that sunroom porch thing. I'm really looking forward to getting rid of this old bay window here. So you can see, uh, you know, that's all leaning and tilted and I'm not sure what's happening here. It's, I mean, it's obviously rotten. It looks like birds have got in there and pecked at it, which is what often happens is once you start having rotten wood around, then uh, the uh, woodpeckers will come in and, you know, they'll pick at the bugs in there. But uh, yeah, looking forward to getting rid of this. We're going to be replacing this window with just just a regular window there, uh, three light, which is, that's the living room window. And I'll show you here. You can get a little bit better look here now how this you know how they built this and you know just push all this soil up against the 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 building, the addition after they you know after they built it. And how, you know, how this is all failing here. Yeah, so there's a look underneath. And yeah, I don't know why they've got insulation there. Uh, obviously, it's good to have insulation underneath, but uh, no barrier. Um, you know, just very poorly done. You know, you want to have some kind of a barrier there so that, you know, uh, varmints don't get in there. Mice and rats love to get into that insulation. So, you know, under on the mobile home itself, it has a uh, very heavy vinyl underbelly. Um, when I do additions like this, I put, uh, I actually put OSB underneath to create a barrier. It also holds, helps to hold the insulation up inside, but this is held up pretty good, actually. So, this floor here, you can see this is 2x6 joists in here, which is not, not heavy enough, but just, all of this should be 2x8. Um, you know, this was originally a porch. An exterior porch and you know it should have been treated it's not it's just regular lumber and so as a result you know, we have we have all of this rot along here so you know this is where the outside wall was sitting and you can see how you know how it's all it's all rotted so you know for those of you that thought we could save this uh, you know absolutely not so I'm going to sell some of these panels here, uh, these OSB panels. Um, so once I get the get the OSB off, then all I do is I just you know again, just take two by four, hit it from the bottom, just smack, 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 and those two by fours will all come off. And then you know then I just start peeling out the one by six or the sorry the two by six uh, ceiling joists, just kind of one at a time, and just you know pull them off. These come off easy because again, you know, they didn't use any joist hangers here. Um, I've referred to this before. 
that uh, you know this is not done to code. Uh, they they're bearing the weight of this roof onto the uh, original mobile home, and uh, our code says that these uh, additions have to be self-supporting, which means you can't uh, you, know, you can't you can't do what's been done here. Okay, and that's this is our new uh, back door, and so this area here. Uh, in the new construction, this is going to be a little porch here. I'm going to build a little porch with, you know, treated wood and uh, it'll have some wood planking on the floor, all exterior stuff. And I'm going to put a little roof over this because I'm planning to have this as a little outdoor cook area. It's right off the kitchen. And there'll be some 6x6 six six timber posts holding up the roof that will be up above. And have some recessed lighting in there. And there'll be steps going down here into the, uh, into the backyard. But uh, this this home always looked like it was sitting down in a hole when you came up, you know, because of this bank. But uh, you already start to see how it's starting to open up in here, and you can just imagine how this is going to look here now with this when this gets landscaped. You know, we're going to have this bank uh, refurbished, this this uh, dilapidated old uh, Allen block wall is going to uh, get, disappear, and you know we're just going to blend this in. And, uh, you know, we'll have a new window here, and then we're going to have the new little porch back there where the, the door is going into the house. So it should, you know, it should increase the appeal of it here quite a bit. Okay, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep poking away at this, and uh, I'll give you an update as I get a little further along here. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm a little further along here. Um, took a little bit of a break. Uh, over the weekend and then uh, yesterday was a rainy day so we finally finally got some very much needed rain here and uh, we're actually in severe drought conditions but uh, this is this is where I'm at now with the addition that the walls are all down and the way I've taken this down is I've just I just took my saws all and you know just just sawed the walls up into manageable sections that I can handle and so now I've got them stacked up here and uh, what I'll do is I'll you know peel the plywood off of that and then just bang it apart and uh, you know then I'm ready to take it put it all over on that garbage pile over there that's all going to the garbage that will go in my dumpster I've got my dumpster coming in, in a couple of days for the uh, first load out of here and here you can see I had to leave this this metal along here because it goes down and it's stuck in between the uh, floor joists and the and the soil. And so once I start taking the platform apart, the floor apart, then I'll be able to uh, pull that metal out of there. So that's just where I'm at now. So I'm just working around the corner here. So again, I'm salvaging material. And I've got my little pile over here on the deck. And I'm just pulling these nails out. So I got about halfway through my pile. I've got the, uh, the other part of it, you know, in there where I'm piling it up with the other stuff that I took off of the deck and I'm gonna save this OSB board so you know by doing this it's gonna take me you know two three hours to clean this all up but uh, I've uh, you know this at least a thousand dollars in material here again you know if I had to go and buy it at today's rate so good news is that uh, price of lumber is starting to come down so lumber being a commodity it does that it goes up and down and it looks like it's peaked and it's uh and it's starting to head down so hopefully you know things will become a little bit more more affordable all right so um i'll show you a little bit later once i sort of get things cleaned up all right so i'm a little further into this now and uh come across the furry little friend here Found them underneath. Found them underneath the. Uh, right here. Uh, but uh, he's dead. 
very dry he's been there a long time petrified so anyway this is what I'm finding underneath here so we've got uh, two by six joists okay and uh, they're over span so what they've done is uh, put this Mickey Mouse little double two by four underneath here is a little kind of a beam so you can see how they've done that to try and take the bounce out yes obviously it was bouncing so the minimum you should go with four joists is uh, two by eights now this was originally an outdoor porch and then at some point in time through over the years it was converted into a sunroom so you know this was originally outside and you know no outside wood was used uh, you know not no treated wood it was just plain old wood and now you can see starting to uh, starting to see how this you know dirt is piled up against you know against the uh, skirting what was the skirting well, I guess there never was really any skirting there but uh, you know and then they put this insulation in here now uh, you can see there okay there there was originally lattice work there uh, and that was probably before you know they did the uh, addition and before they changed this to a sunroom and so then what they did was put plywood in front of that lattice work to stop the dirt from coming through and then you know piled all this dirt up against it and what has happened is so you can see here now that I've got this plywood off you can just see how you know how rotten this is here you can see how collapsed that is uh, this whole corner here was completely rotten and uh, let me see let's see how, how bad this is here and you can see right there the sun, there's a hole there and I suspect that that hole is uh, was chewed there I saw rats guy in there but this is all completely rotten and that's why we're taking this down uh, I think we can kind of find the same thing you know as we go down this way uh, so you can see I got all those old walls taken apart and it was just pretty easy you know again my pile is growing over there so I'll be able to to uh, load that bin quite quickly when it comes now for some reason here you can see they changed directions with these uh, floor joists in this deck so um, you know here they're going this way and then here they changed and they're going this way so I don't know why I did that uh, it was insulated underneath um, you know there's I'm pulling out the insulation and it's, everything underneath here is just just gross and moldy and uh, yeah it really feels good to be getting rid of this okay stay tuned folks Okay, so I've got the uh, first dumpster uh, delivered and uh, got this all cleaned up. Uh, still got the floor to take down over there, but I wanted to get things cleaned up a little bit around here. Uh, so it's not quite so unsightly for the neighbors. And so this is a 25 yard, 25 cubic yard uh, bin here that, that I'm using. It's the same as the other two that I've had here before. But um, you can see I've just arrived this morning and I pretty much got it full. And I'm starting to work on this deck. And uh, that'll be another video. So I think we're going to call this one, call this one uh, a wrap. Uh, I'll just kind of show you where I'm at here. So my strategy here is to sort of you know again I'm kind of working three areas to one but uh, I want to uh, keep ahead of the bin so I don't tie up the bin too much the uh, you know he doesn't like to have our the bin on site too long it does you know he's not making money when the bin is sitting here so this is where we're at now we've got rid of that sunroom floor you can see how you know how what we're dealing with here how they pile the dirt up against this and so, you know, the rest of this now is just going to be to tear out this floor. Once I get rid of this uh, bin that I have here now, I will just, uh, you know, just tear this apart and pile it up. And uh, I'll show you on another video how that works. But I'm starting to take the skirting up off, you know, just uh, to fill this bin now. 
and uh, I'll have, be able to get this bin out of here tomorrow. So got the railing off of this uh, this this uh, deck, and here you can see the skirting on top of the old plywood, that pl green plywood, and so that was a uh, skirting remodel. And here is this room that I told you about before. <coughs> you can see I got some junk. <coughs> excuse me, in there, but in there is where that room is, and I'll show you that on the next video. Stay tuned, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.